Hello, everybody. It's Cranky Hornhelm. Yeah, okay. I'm really getting tired of this, okay? And I'm back with more straight scoop about the rumblings of war that I've spoken to you about previously. Now you know that our incompetent dwarven army has been trying to do its best with this silent, as yet undeclared war that is occurring with certain bands of goblins and orcs, and we suspect, no, we know, elves. Now, there have been some developments in what's going on that have helped uh, me to understand better what's happening, the real truth, the straight scoop, as you know, you'll always get from me absolutely no or caca at all. Now, we've had some interesting developments, as I said, and this includes the loss of a dear friend of ours, one of our very own Hornhelm cousins, Ingot. Ingot was traveling with a small caravan and was set upon by these dastardly creatures who attacked using their drones, paralyzing the dwarves again, and slaughtering them one and all. And that included our dear friend, Ingot. Now, it took a while to figure this out because they found pieces of her in, how many, what, I think it was 11 different caverns scattered about. But eventually they determined that, yes, she too perished amongst the dwarves of that particular caravan. Now, in a few cases, in fairness to the militia, they have fought their opponents to a stalemate and managed to protect these small caravans in a few isolated cases. But there have also been some huge failures. And those failures have involved the poor, incompetent leadership that the Hornhelm clan has foisted upon them through General Max Hornhelm. This bumbling fool couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag, and he's been ambushed and outfought, outthought, and failed miserably. And it's time for him to be recalled and to have somebody who knows what the hell they're doing out there. But that's me, and I'm giving you the straight scoop. That leader isn't worth a pile of dragon caca. So he has to go. Now, in addition to all this, more light has been shed upon the reasons behind the attacks. Well, actually, those are pretty clear already. The goblins and orcs felt insulted, and the elves felt insulted, and so they've decided on this bizarre campaign to try and do damage to the Horn House. Now we've made up with the gnomes. The gnomes are fine little guys, and, and yes, I don't really have anything against them. Like I said, I shared a beer with them once. So they're working on our behalf again and uh, helping us to battle these creatures. Now, our brilliant and I do mean this very sarcastically, brilliant general in his last engagement, well, he was going to solve the problem with the drones. So he had his entire militia battalion put cotton in their ears so they couldn't hear anything. Now on the surface, I would guess that that sounds like a pretty good idea, but the enemy Okay, they're not very smart, but they're not totally stupid. And they obviously have some more intelligence guidance. Because as soon as they realized that the dwarves had 
put cotton in their ears in the last couple of engagements, they came up with a different plan. They made an alliance with a small group of trolls who attacked the battalion from behind while they were busy engaging the goblins and orcs in front of them. Worked pretty well for them. Destroyed about 30 dwarves before they realized what was going on and were able to fight back. Now, the rest of them pretty much survived. But that fool, General Hornhelm, was up at a rock with his aides watching the battle and did nothing to help. I demand better leadership for our troops in the field than this incompetent boob. Damn cobalt lover. He really needs a dwarvenectomy. So, what else have I found out? Well, I can tell you this much. The dwarven mafia is involved. Whether they were the ones actually pulling the strings to start with, or the devil got involved later, or I, I'm not really sure, but I've heard words. The Dwarven Nostra is out there, and they're helping these critters try and get us. Now, the Hornhelm clan really doesn't have much in the way of wealth compared to some of the other, uh, well, I'll say the, the major clans amongst the dwarves, like the Longbeards and etc. But we do have a very fine alcohol collection. One of the very best in dwarfdom. And I'm starting to wonder if that's what's drawing everyone to us lately. There's no two ways about it. We host a good party. And that's the straight scoop. So those are the little tidbits I've learned about what's going on. We know that the leadership is incompetent. We've lost a former friend in our ingot, having passed somewhat gorily and messily. Oh well. But we know things are not going the way that anybody is talking about publicly within the clan. So, now you know. And as usual, you got it straight from me, Cranky Hornhelm. No orc caca from this dwarf, that's for sure. Take care, everyone. See you again soon. Do that like and subscribe and share and stuff thing. And take care of yourselves. Keep your eyes open. And remember, dwarves rock, especially me.